I grew up in a small town in Texas called Terrell, where I had zero exposure to design. I spent a lot of time in my own head, inventing stories and creating my own environment. I think that ability to go within yourself in order to go into depth and think about things, it's a really powerful tool. My name is Joe Doucet and I am an industrial designer. One of the aspects that I find most confusing about design is that people seem to think it is about the skinning of a product, putting decoration at the end, where in fact it can be anything from developing new manufacturing techniques to rethinking the way products are developed and consumed and the waste involved. 70% of the environmental impact of any product is created in the design phase. And what that tells you is that as a designer, you have a huge responsibility about what's put into the world and what its impact on the environment is. And I believe designers are now taking that a lot more seriously. When approaching a design problem, the first thing that I do is not to really begin with a ton of research, but really taking a few days to sit and really, really think about what we're setting out to do, what the real problem we're trying to solve in. It's not about inspiration, it's about insight. And insight takes a great deal of thought. There is constant learning, uh, constant reading, um, constant seeking out different forms of inspiration that you can draw from. We recently moved the studio to Dumbo, which means down under Manhattan Bridge overpass. I love it because it's very old New York. At the same time, it also has a sense of quiet neighborhood, which is very rare to find in a city of this size. Technology has deeply impacted this profession over the last 20, 10, five years. I mean, uh, things are constantly changing. The decentralization of manufacturing is going to be the biggest revolution that we've seen since the first industrial revolution. I think what might be hard to imagine is the fact that this is a piece of steel. It's actually something that traditionally couldn't be manufactured without a great deal of effort and expense. Whereas with decentralized manufacturing, such as 3D printing, for those same few dollars, you could make infinite variations on any object that you would want to create at home. Perfectionism is one of those terms that people see as being quite negative or being a little too obsessive over things that don't matter to anyone. But I see it as being demanding of the outcome of the whole. 